Have you ever logged on to Hypixel Skyblock only to see that certain items have either gone up massively or gone down massively in price? I mean, yeah, sort of standard Hypixel Skyblock day, but anyway. In the past, items like the Dwarf Total Shell Mint rose to about 20 mil, or Diamante Sandals up to 3 or 4 mil. Now, these fluctuations could be the result of numerous things. New updates cause items to change in price, dupes cause items to change in price. There are a lot of things that can affect an item's price. Or in this case, Certain updates change the prices. Today we're going to be taking a look at the state of the bazaar and some interesting prices for interesting items I guess. Some things just don't go unnoticed and I've been noticing a few weird things recently. I'm sure a lot of people probably have too. And to be honest the root cause of the majority of these issues I guess is probably what stands in front of me. Yo I got this epic new bow. Mm, I don't want to put Sullyids on it, uh, maybe we'll go for something different. I don't know maybe Ren seems like a decent shout, surely they're not too expensive. Oh yeah, only 14 mil for a Ren 1, 1.8 mil for a Ren 2, 32 mil for a Ren 3, 100 mil for a Ren 4, I mean that's a steal. Or you could pay 10 times less for a Ren 5, nice one. I'm aware there isn't a massive demand for Ren, although it just seems a little bit cowboy to be honest. And also for those people who do actually want a Ren book, if you were to put an order up to actually buy then how long would it actually take to fill? That's the issue. Thinking of getting aspects of the Jerry, obviously you've got to get Ultimate Jerry on there. Hmm. Ultimate Jerry 4, 14 mil, yeah man. How about last stand 1? 1, 1.2 mil. Considering last stand 2 is 600k, what a steal. Now, those are some pretty accurate prices, but you know what's more accurate? Um, telling you you should subscribe to Nitros it doesn't really make much sense, but we need to plug. And that's because at the moment, we're actually trying to beat the population of San Marino with subscribers. Now, the population of San Marino is around about that YouTube rank. The plan is to visit San Marino if we get to YouTube rank. We'll be able to claim that we have more subscribers than the population of the whole country, which would be ridiculous, not gonna lie. All I'm trying to say is make sure you are subscribed to the channel, it would help out a lot. Anyway, back to the video. In some aspects, the Hex is probably one of the best quality of life updates we've seen. Not only that, it's something that probably should have been implemented way sooner. At the same time, it's taken away one of the best flipping methods in that of flipping enchanted books. Granted, you can still bizarre flip them, it's just not the same, and it's just not as good either. And also, it leads to problems like this. Like I said, obviously for items that have a lot of demand, there's no issue. Um, but at the moment, I mean, if, if you want to buy a render or a last stand book, you've got a little bit of a problem. Having said that, this issue doesn't just affect last stand and rend. It also affects caster, corruption, delicate, dragon hunter, luck of the sea, respite, and many more to be honest. Realistically, you've got to partially blame the low demand for these items, but at the same time, I guess the items are only lowly demanded because they're not that great, and if they're not that great, they're a little bit pointless, and some of them are. Like, new enchantments are added all the time, but old enchantments remain and are pointless and nobody uses, it seems a little bit strange. But to be honest, the most annoying thing is for, is for the people that actually want to buy one of these books and they're greeted by a price tag of like 14 million for sharpness one. It just makes absolutely no sense at all. Sometimes I wonder if certain items could actually benefit from a price cap, but I guess that's a whole other discussion. Let me know what you think of this situation in the comments down below. At the end of the day, it's probably not a massive issue, but I, I think it's quite a big issue for people that are actually trying to just play the game and buy items from the bazaar and they literally can't. Anyway, this is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you all have enjoyed. If you did, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.